How can you get started in cybersecurity? Stay tuned. Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Zach with IT Career Questions. I've pulled together a lot of data that I've collected throughout the past year and some of the information that I got from different people who work in the security field. And I wanna share that with you guys. First, there is no defined path to get into cybersecurity. Everybody has a different path that they have taken to get into this field. Many people started out in a job that had nothing to do with security, nothing to do with IT in general, yet here they are working in the cybersecurity field. So just know that no matter what, there is a possibility for you to get into this field, no matter where you are at in life. But with that being said, just because you go out and you get a cybersecurity degree or certifications, there are no guarantees in life. There's no guarantee that says you are going to get a job in cybersecurity right away. You may have to work your way up to that role in security and work maybe a different job that is in the IT field in general. So here is an example that you guys should think about if you are thinking cybersecurity is right for you. Do you have the mindset for security? Let's take this Amazon Echo for instance. Someone in security is gonna look at this and they're gonna say to themselves, what can I make this do? I know what this Amazon Echo is supposed to do, but what can I make it do? How can I exploit this and do something that is not at its intended purpose? Can I take this apart and exploit it in some way? Now we know that this uses Bluetooth, so can you hack the Bluetooth and collect data that is being sent back and forth from the Echo? These are some of the things that you need to think about as you are looking into the security field. Do you have that mindset that's going to say, how do I break something? How do I exploit something? Maybe you are looking at it as a defensive way and thinking, how could somebody break this? How could somebody exploit this? And what can I do to stop that from happening? Technology has a proper method in which it should work. It is developed in a way that it is supposed to work in a certain order, do certain functions. You need to think about other ways that technology can work, even if it's the way that it's not intended to. Think about different ways that technologies can be exploited. So with giving you kind of that kind of thought process right there, there are many different roles in cybersecurity. We're gonna go into each different role in another video, but here is kind of like a quick rundown. In security, there is information technology. And think of the operations side, think of sysadmins, uh, network admins, general IT department. That's kind of your information technology area just kind of summed up. There's also the developers and programmers who are in the security field, who build applications, modify applications, and also try to hack applications. There's also the physical side of security. Think of the actual physical devices. Think of your HID card that you can scan into a building. Think of doing some type of social engineering. And of course there's policies and auditing. You know, every business has a policy that they must you know, stick to. They have a security policy that they have to roll out, that they have to introduce to their users, that they have to train their users on. So like I said, we'll talk more about these roles in another video, or you can go out on your own and do your own research. But where will you find enjoyment in security? Are you red team or are you blue team? Red team is more offensive. Here you're gonna hear a lot of the term ethical hacking. That's where you're gonna do a lot of pen testing. You're gonna be trying to break into networks, break into applications, exploit them, and things like that. Blue team is the defensive side. You are going to develop ways to stop attackers. So you will do much of what the blue team is doing, but you are thinking about it as in protecting your organization. And one thing about the blue team and the red team is that they work together. So you're gonna have an organization that might have both of these in their environment. Your blue team is your security team. Your red team is your team that is really going to push the limits on your different applications, your network, your end users, and try to find the different exploits and different holes that they can use to manipulate your organization. But the end goal of the red team and the blue team is to find ways to secure your organization. So really with that, it's kind of up to you which part of security sounds most interesting, what you might, might enjoy the most. So really look into that and again, look into these different roles and see what you think you are gonna be best suited in. So like I said in the beginning of this video, there's no defined path to get into cybersecurity. A lot of people have fallen into security roles in one way or another. But if you are looking to get into it out of nowhere and you really wanna get that jump, 
you can go out and get certifications, get a degree, of course. Some of the certifications to note would be like the Security Plus. That is a really widely required certification to get into security roles. If you think about the Department of Defense, the DOD, they require that you have the Security Plus certification just to get a job there. So there are many other businesses out there that require you have the Security Plus. There's also the Pen Test Plus, which just came out from CompTIA. That's uh, penetration testing, so you can look into that. And then there's more advanced certifications like the CISM and the CISP and things like that. But those are more down the line. For a lot of the roles out there, you might wanna consider learning some type of programming language, Python is a big one. Linux is widely used and you will find many different resources based off of a Linux operating system that you can use to develop some of your skills and of course learn more. In general, you can go out and do research. You can go and look at different blogs, different YouTube channels, podcasts. I highly recommend uh, Security Weekly. They are going to really give you a lot of information about what's currently going on in the field, what is going to be happening or what has happened, and they kind of go into detail about some of these things. So just listening to their podcast or over on their YouTube channel, you can really begin to start understanding some of the different areas in the security field just by listening to their stuff. So how do you get there? How do you get into cybersecurity? Do your research, look into the different roles, look into the different areas of cybersecurity, look into red team, blue team. If you're looking at red team, I am currently going through an audible book right now that's called red team, how to succeed thinking like the enemy. I'll put a link in the description. That has a lot of information and a lot of background into red team and how that works. I've found so far that it is very informative in just giving you this fundamental knowledge of red teaming. And it talks about physical and digital. So it's really good information. I would check it out if that's something that you're looking at. I haven't gotten to a blue team book yet. So when I find something there, I'll definitely make a video and you know plug that in the video also. Check out the different podcasts, different websites out there that have a lot of information. Of course, YouTube. Check out Security Weekly because they have a lot of good information. And then of course, some of the best skills that you can have in getting in any job really, but of course cybersecurity that's really going to help you. Great communication skills, both written and verbal. And of course your ethics in general definitely take a part in security. Teamwork and your independent working styles, those are very important. And then of course the most important is really problem solving. Because when you develop your problem solving skills and when you really start thinking like a hacker, like the enemy for instance, you will really have a whole new perspective on what the security field really entails. So you guys will start seeing more videos about the security field coming soon. We'll talk about the different roles. We'll give you guys more tips and tricks into getting into the security field. And of course, we're gonna have a lot more interviews with people who actually work in the security field who are gonna share their story and how they got into the field and give you advice on what you guys can do to get into that field also. So that's all I got for you guys in this video. I hope you found some of this information useful. I hope you stay tuned for more. Make sure you subscribe. And if you guys have any comments or questions, hit me up in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. As always, take it easy.